If you recently found out that you're a wonderful profile in human design, or maybe you're just interested to learn more about this particular profile, then this is a video for you. Hi guys, my name is Veronica. I'm a mindset coach and human design guide with over 50 years experience in helping women achieve their version of success. Last year I discovered human design and I completely fell in love with it. It changed my life, it changed my business, and it changed the way that I feel about myself. So through my videos, I want to share what I've learned with you so that you can begin or continue your own human design journey and find more peace, more acceptance, more confidence in who you are, what you do and how you do it. So if that sounds good, then make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at profile. Specifically, we're going to look at the one four profile. In a previous video, I explained the one three profile. So if you're interested in that, then I'll leave it linked somewhere on the screen and below in the description box. If you're a one for watching this, I would love for you to leave a comment down below and let me know what your overall design is. Are you a manifester? Are you a generator? Are you a projector? Are you a very rare reflector? I would love to know your energy type, your authority, and of course, your profile. But before we dive into the details of the one for profile, which is also known as the investigator opportunist or the omniscient teacher, I first want to give you a brief overview of what profile in itself is, just in case you're new to human design. So profile on human design gives you insight into two particular things. Number one is the way that you see yourself and your internal experience of who you are. And number two is what you project out into the world. So what other people see in you and how other people perceive you. The duality of these different parts to you are represented in profile with two numbers. For example, a one, four. The first number gives you insight into your internal experience. This is also known as your conscious line or your personality line. The second number gives you insight into how other people see you. This is also known as your unconscious number because often we're not actually aware of how we come across to other people. And it's also known as your design number. These two different numbers correspond to one of six lines in human design. Each line has its own qualities and characteristics and they can come together in a variety of different combinations. As an example, today we're talking about a 1-4, but you could be a 1-3, you could be a 2-5 or a 6-2. So the different combination will determine your overall profile. And there are 12 profiles, so there are 12 possible combinations in total. Now, if you're interested in understanding what about your chart or where in your body graph you can get the information that will tell you what your profile is or what someone else's profile is, then what you want to look at is your gates in both your conscious and unconscious sun. And in particular, you're interested in looking at the numbers after the decimal point. For example, as I'm showing you here, this person is a one three because we can see the point one in the conscious sun gate and the point three in the unconscious sun gate. Now to better understand the one four profile as a whole, I first want to share with you the different qualities that each of the two lines that make up this profile bring. Because when you understand the different characteristics and the different flavors that the two sides of your profile bring, then it's also easier to understand how they can work together and how we can create harmony between them overall. As I've previously recorded the video for the one three profile and the line one information is exactly the same, I'm going to use the magical technology and insert that specific clip in now and then I'll be back to talk to you about the fourth line and how those two come together to create the profile of the investigator opportunist. Line one is known as the investigator. This means that people with a line one are the kinds of people who love to learn, they love to understand things, they love to find things out. These are the people that tend to feel more confident, more competent, more comfortable than more information they're armed with. They love facts, they love truth. They love to have a really strong foundation of understanding and knowledge. A line one is someone who loves to be well prepared. These are the people that show up to the meeting having done the research. These are the people that will go on a holiday having looked at the itinerary. There's this love for understanding, for searching, for discovering, for getting to the bottom of things. These are the Googlers of the friendship group. These are the people that you go to when you need something researched in depth because they love to do it. They can very easily fall into those rabbit holes of information, trying to always gain a deeper and deeper understanding of what might be going on or of how something works or of how something started. So for you, gathering information, gathering knowledge, gathering facts, this is how 
you establish yourself in life. This is how you learn to position yourself and how you learn to move through life with confidence. And for you, it's not just about being well informed. You guys have a real appreciation for knowledge. And I wouldn't be surprised if your motto is something like knowledge is power, because you guys can truly appreciate the impact that having information and being well informed can have on everything that we do. Okay, I'm back in real time. So now we're ready to talk about line four, which is for you is your unconscious line, the unconscious side to your profile. Sometimes people don't even relate to this number because they don't recognize it in themselves. But it does give you really powerful insights into how other people perceive you, how other people see you, and the kind of energy that you might be putting out and how that energy, especially if you're not aware of it, might be influencing you and the experience that you have and might be creating conflict where maybe you are wanting to show up in a certain way and yet you're not being received in that way when it comes to other people. So line four is known as the opportunist. Line four is all about people. As a line four, you're definitely someone who loves to be around people and it's kind of like the universe knows that and will bring you opportunities through the people that you know. What makes you great around people and what makes you great in a social situation is also your ability to recognize who is a good and positive influence on you and who is not. This is definitely a skill that not everybody has. So it's really important for you to trust that intuition and allow it to guide you towards the people that are in alignment with you and stay away from those who are not. When you use your warm and friendly demeanor, which in this case, you're probably doing without even realizing it, you will inevitably be attracting people to you. And when you then forge relationships with the people that resonate with you, this is when and how the opportunities that are meant for you will find you. So for you guys, it's really important to nurture your relationships, to nurture your connections to others, and to not be afraid to be selective in those connections, to not be afraid to almost be picky as to who you decide to spend your time with. Because it's kind of like the saying, your network is your net worth. The people around you can have a huge, huge influence on you, as the saying goes, we are the average of the five people we hang around with. And this couldn't be more accurate for someone with a fourth line because you guys are all about your people. Your people are really important to you. You are really important to your people. And so making sure that you're selective as to what the group around you looks like and how it makes you feel is really, really important. And it doesn't have to be difficult for you to understand who is a good fit for you and who isn't. It can be as simple as whoever you truly and genuinely enjoy spending time with is in your life for a reason. So use your authority in these instances and allow it to help you discern who is someone that you genuinely click with and you have a meaningful connection with and who perhaps is in your life but isn't a great fit, doesn't bring you any joy, doesn't bring any positivity or add anything of value to you and to your life. And a great reminder for you guys is that the quality of your life really is determined by the quality of your relationships. So the more selective and curated your relationships are, the happier you will be. So now let's look at how these two different lines and the different qualities that they each bring come together to create the one for profile, to create the omniscient teacher. So on one hand, internally, you will see yourself as someone who thrives off of knowledge, research, facts, data, information. The more of it you have it, the more comfortable and confident you feel. And on the outside, you give off the vibe of someone who is warm and who is friendly and who is all about people and who is great at connecting and creating relationships. So this is the profile of someone who is designed to learn and to have a very internal process of educating themselves, understanding things, unpacking things, collecting knowledge, and then passing that knowledge on to the rest of the world through your relationships, through your network. In the previous video where I looked at the 1-3 profile, we can see that that profile, for example, is designed to teach through experience. Their conscious number is a one, just like you guys, so they too love to learn, love to research, love to collect information, love to understand things, love to be knowledgeable, and have a lot of expertise in particular subject matters. But the difference, for example, is that for them with a three line, they need to go through an experience life and then share their knowledge through their own experience of this is what worked for me, or this is how I did something, or this is 
what I tried and what worked and what didn't work. Whereas for you guys, you don't necessarily need to go and put things into practice before you share that knowledge with the people in your life and with your network. You can be collecting information and then sharing what feels relevant. And of course, always checking in with your authority to determine what feels good to share and what doesn't. But you can pretty much skip the getting experience piece. You can go straight from collecting information to sharing it through your network. So in a way, your process is slightly easier because it's more about learning and passing it on. Learning and passing it on. You don't have to back it up with years of experience or years of putting things into practice yourself before you're equipped to pass on that knowledge. Because of your level of knowledge and the sheer amount of wisdom that you carry through your line one, combined with your genuine love for people and your warm and friendly demeanor, when you're in alignment, when you're living your design, when you're being true to yourself, when you're creating harmony between your line one and your line four, you will inevitably be seen as a very strong, very wise, very powerful individual. As someone who knows their stuff and who can eloquently and effectively share it with others. This is why this profile is known as the omniscient teacher. Omniscient meaning all-knowing. You are someone who knows their stuff and who is able to teach it or share it with others. So for you guys with this profile, the key really is to allow yourself the internal process of collecting information, educating yourself, learning, figuring out the facts, figuring out how things work, but also nurturing your network. And your network doesn't have to be hugely extensive, but it has to be curated. It has to be intentional. It has to be made up of people who you generally have a positive connection with. If you nail those two things, you're off to the races. You know, you will feel so much more fulfilled because you'll be respecting both sides of your coin. You will be nurturing both of the different needs that you have as a human being. Your need to go through your internal process of figuring things out and learning things with your need to be sharing and connecting with your people. So I hope you found this brief introduction to the wonderful profile helpful. There is of course so much more I could still share, but I'll save that for future videos. If you have any specific questions about this profile, or about anything else, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you would love to explore your own design even further, then I do offer human design readings. You can find all of the information along with the other services that I provide over on my website, which will be linked in the description box below. I would love to see you here next week. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really does make my day when you guys join me on this human design journey. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you here next week. Bye guys.